Alright, so the first thing you're going to need if you want to build a heating element is some heating elements. So, shit. You're going to need something that gets hot. Unplugged first before you start getting into it. Now, before you get started, you want to make sure there's nothing in your toaster because that could get in the way of the. Now, when you're ready to take the heating elements out of the toaster, you, um, you need to be very careful because they're very fragile and not to break them. I prefer the uh, Japanese style of machete splitting. <laughs> Crack it. There you go. And that's how you crack a toaster. Next, take out the canthal or nichrome inserts that heat up the toast when power is ran through them so you can heat up other stuff with them. This is what you're looking for right here is this wire right here. It's usually wrapped around some asbestos or cardboard. Well, cardboard would burn, so it's you know, some flame retardant material. I always think it's asbestos. Take those out and collect the wire. And then you can rewind that to create a heater for heating glassware. Voila. See on here, these are the heat filaments. They get hot. We need that. It's good stuff. There you go. And depending on how we arrange these, whether series or parallel, we can get different temperatures out of them. So, I wonder how I'll arrange it. I'll think of something. Uh, I'll show you guys this before it catches fire. This is where I'm at so far. This is uh, just some water I'm testing out here. Boils it pretty well. I want to boil sulfuric acid to 98%. So, but this is what we got here. The heating elements are inside. Oh. There's a layer of insulation, then the heating element, then another layer of insulation forming a V inside of here. You can see the wires in there. If this does work, and I'll touch it all up and make it all pretty and stuff. And, you know, the duct tape on this side, not really applicable. But yeah, uh, hope you guys like it.